We got to talk about Black China here who was suing TMZ for defamation. Now, she then finally, you know, uh, got out of this custody battle with Rob. They got 50-50 custody. Basically, they wasted about two and a half years of the court's time and about two and a half years worth of lawsuit money. So, if she want to blow all of <laughs> if she want to blow all of her OnlyFans money to them white lawyers, and she can do it. That's her prerogative. But I just think it's a waste of time, all right? As I already told you, Black China and Rob got 50-50 custody. However, she is suing TMZ as well as American Media because... When she was going through the custody battle, those documents, those court documents and all of the allegations that Rob and Black China had made of one another was supposed to be sealed and confidential. However, TMZ somehow got the sealed documents and released the allegations that was in there. Okay, remember the allegations that Black China uses drugs allegedly, that she uses alcohol around the kids allegedly, and that she doesn't tend to them like that. I'm just saying, how did TMZ get the sealed and confidential documents? document sounds like you need to be suing the justice system and really not tmz how did tmz get the news that kobe died before his own wife had it because allegedly vanessa found out when she was scrolling through ig like the rest of us how i'm gonna tell you how tmz is connected everywhere you know not only do they have connections with the celebrities which is why they won't run certain stories you know, they ain't going to talk about when Tom Cruise was allegedly trying to get up in Rovier's booty. They're not going to talk about that on TMZ. They just not. Because they got, you know, they got certain connections with certain people. Just like TMZ, I ain't forgot when I did my segment. And all I said was, if you sign with Diddy, you ain't going to make no money. So just don't do it. They cut my whole segment out. Uh, uh, Harvey started freaking out. Charles started freaking out. I said, why y'all freaking out? Y'all act like y'all on bad boy payroll or something. They didn't say nothing. And that segment sure as hell got cut. We never synced it. So I say all of that to say they got them connections all right, they find out first when everybody die, almost as if they in on it from the beginning. Now, in the lawsuit, Black China actually cites defamation, conversion, public disclosure of private facts, intentional infliction of emotional distress, and more. I think it's going to be a little hard for her to prove. However, they do need to tell the court how they got sealed and confidential information. I think that they actually should. But I think this whole thing of celebrities suing publications and, and, and suing bloggers, and, and in addition to that, look, 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 look. I got to remind you guys that Adele actually sued, I think it was The Sun, and she won. When they said that she was messing around with Chris Brown, knowing damn well she don't like him light and bright. You know she liked the chocolate. You know Adele like a little bit of chocolate. That's how she got so big and fat in the first place. You can look at that old body she had until she ate a whole bunch of damn chocolate in her lifetime, all right? Now she just rides and swallows it. She don't eat it no more. Allegedly, but your boyfriend, your boyfriend is chocolate, Adele. Let's keep it real, you know. But you, you just didn't want to be stuck with having that mixed baby. So you had that baby by that white man that you really didn't want when you craved the chocolate the whole time. This is why people need to stick with who they really want. So y'all let two shorts stay over there with them, with them exoticals. Anyway, definition of defamation, the action of damaging the good reputation of someone, slander, or libel. Now, I have to look this up myself because of what I do for a living. Now, all of this shit is satirical and comedy. I don't know none of you hoes, but... I still be kind of, you know, I get a little, anytime I see anybody in my industry get sued, I get, I get a little scared, you know, I just, I just, you know, I'm just saying, gotta protect yourself. Now, when you look at a celebrity actually taking a media person to court for defamation, it's a whole bunch of parts to this shit that they have to prove. First off, the defendant published a statement, which means the person that's being sued actually uh, actually put it out there, okay? You don't need to be a media mogul. There's no requirement that the statement be distributed broadly, but if you repeat something, you're, you're liable to be sued about it, all right? The statement is about the plaintiff, okay? We already know what that means. Number three, the statement harmed the reputation of a plaintiff. That's the part that these celebrities always have to prove, and that's the hardest part. How did what this media entity said, blogger said, how did it harm you? How did you lose any money? How did you, if you're saying it caused you emotional distress within well, here, you got to go to a psychologist. You got to get all kinds of evaluations. I mean, it's a lot. It gets really messy. That's why a lot of times these suits are honestly just a waste of time. Um, then the statement was published with some level of fault. Fault requires that the defendant did something he should not have done or failed to do something that they should have done. Okay, so then that means it's on Black China's 
litigation is on her lawyer's team. That's their job to find out where TMZ went wrong. Well, they went wrong for releasing sealed and confidential information. You know what, Black China, you actually do kind of got a case with them. But just know that more and more as the years go on, especially as the government tries to censor media more and more, there will be a fight between media, modern media, digital media. It's me. You know, we had a Talib Kweli that said I wasn't no kind of media, but you watched it, so I'm some kind of media. Anyway, we will see more of a battle between celebrities and media entities because celebrities, they have like a love-hate relationship with us. We help to keep them relevant, but at the same time, they only want us to talk about what they want us to talk about. I don't know. You can't really have it both ways in this world, although some people do take it too far. I will admit that. Now, do you think Black China has a case? Or are you here for TMZ being sued? I am, just because of what they did to the Bryant family. And I'm, I'm trying to now question them connections because if, if TMZ was the first one to, to find out that Kobe died, did y'all know he was going to die? Did y'all know the issues with the helicopter? Are TMZ prints all Freemasons too? It's a whole lot of questions we gotta wonder. But hopefully Black China and the Baphomet that she has tattooed on her left butt she can help protect her. So she would definitely, allegedly, would probably be, I think so, this is just my opinion, will be conjuring some spirits to help her out, all right? And last but not least, I did want to keep in mind that we do have a right to have a statement of pure opinion, which is basically saying stuff like such and such is a jerk, such and such is ugly, things like that, all right? So I'm gonna make sure I keep everything my opinion. This is my opinion, all right? This is my opinion. I ain't got time for none of that shit. Embrace Pangea is a black-owned health and wellness brand that has solidified themselves as being able to take care of your yoni, but guess what? They do more than just service your yoni. Yes, as a matter of fact, Embrace Pangea has products to cover you from head to toe, inside and out, and in particular, let me tell you about a couple products that I personally use. Number one is the herbal tooth powder that is better than any toothpaste that you will get over the counter. It will get your teeth clean and help your teeth to maintain a natural white shade, and in addition to that the advanced botanical mouthwash is something that we all should have in our medicine cabinet now when you look at a bottle like this with 25 potent herbs like echinacea golden cell don't laugh at me if i mispronounced that you know what i meant <laughs> we need these natural ingredients in our mouth rinses so that we can fight tooth decay gingivitis all of that plaque halitosis and overall poor hot oral hygiene okay so if you want to get a good clearance when you go to the dentist get you some embrace pangea and in addition to that make sure you use my code storm to get 10% off your order and check out today